Yes, hello. Yes, my friend. What? How I can help you? Yes, my friend. I want to uh, have a discussion with you with uh, respect. With respect, I don't know what does that mean. Your your prophet he forbid you from respecting the Christian. No, 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 no. Don't start. We we will have respect. No, no. I'm asking yeah. you. Isn't it your prophet he forbid you from respecting the Christian? So how you can say we want to have discussion with respect? Is that a hypocrisy? Is that a taqiyya? What does that mean? Okay, show me where the prophet says mm -hmm. that show 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 them no respect. Okay, here we go. Okay. Do you see my screen? Yes, I see. Okay. Read. While you are searching, read. I want to ask you what. No, I do not need to search. It's in front of you. Read it. Yes, yes, I see. But I, yeah. while you are searching, what hmm. church you belong to? What church? What church? Yes, what church you belong to? Jankees Khan. Okay, okay. Hmm. What so you also believe that Christ died for your sins? Christ died for Christ. He died for my sin. Yeah, yeah, I believe in that. Yeah, I believe in that. Do you believe in that? Okay, okay. Okay, what, okay. Uh -huh. who, who is this Christ? Who is this Christ? Why you are not going to read the, the hadith for me before we talk about Christ? Why you are saying to me, let us talk with respect when your prophet, you order you, even if you see me in the street, you have to insult me and you have to walk me in the sewage. Okay, what does it say? Abu Hurairah reported that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mm. said, do not give the people of the book the greeting first. Mm. Force them to the narrow part of the road. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Uh, which, uh, which, uh, which hadith book is it in? This is Da'if hadith. Which? It is Da'if hadith. What is Aif? Da'if, Da'if, Da'if. Did not eat too much. Uh, you know what Da'if means? No, I do not know what Da'if means. No, no. You are you an Arab, Arabic speaker? I uh, no. I uh, originally my dad he is a, was a parrot from Somalia. What about you? No, I ask you. What is Daif? I don't know. I'm asking you. You tell me. What what Daif mean? Are you Arab or not? I thought I told you. My my father he was a parrot. I don't know. I have no idea. He used to hijack okay. uh, uh, ships yes, and I, airplanes. My, so. Yes, my father also parrot. Okay, so here we go. Maybe maybe we, maybe we are cousins. So now tell me, why you're a prophet? In this Daif hadith, he's saying that you have to insult what the Christians. Daif? Why are you not answering? What is Daif? Daif, it's mean very, very, very good, no? Very good. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Uh, I think so. What what Daif mean? Why 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 you why you sound so nervous, brother? I'm very nervous now. I'm shaking actually. Why? I, because the, this is the first time I meet somebody from my family. You know what Daif is a parrot means? like me. <laughs> okay. No, tell me. No, tell me. I'm Come asking on. you. I don't know. I just give up. I don't know. I give the right of answering to you. Your your, your turn. Oh well, come on. Just just answer me. What is daif? As I understand, daif means that uh, like you cannot put too much high weight on it. You know, it's going to break. Thank you. Thank mm. you. Mm. Okay. Next. What next? Don't 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 don't, don't fool fool yourself. Okay. So what what does next that mean? Next time, mm. think what you are doing. What does Put that mean? things what which which have. Which have uh, uh, more rank than than Daif? Okay. Oh, so this this is, are you saying to me you refuse this one? You reject it? I say it's Daif. So you what does that mean? What Daif is. What does that mean? You just said you uh, don't I, have I, high value. Uh, no, I said you cannot. It's like a shelf. You cannot put too much stuff on it. It's going to break. I did not say high value. Okay. Hmm. So now what what we will do now? You you want me to find you something stronger? Listen, listen, mm. listen. You, okay, you this is Christian, okay. This yeah? is this is Sahih. Okay, you are a Christian. No, no, this is Sahih. Here we go. Who is this Christ? This is Sahih. I'm asking you now. You see, the first, by the way, ah, the first, the first one is not Daif. The second one is not Daif. The third one is not Daif. All of them, they are Sahih. Okay. 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 So now you're a prophet in this Sahih Hadith, not Daif. He said you have to insult the Christians and you have to force them to walk in the sewage. What kind of a prophet he is? Let me see. Mm. Come on. Look, here we go. It's in front of you. Mm. 
Okay, which hadith book is this? Uh, this is the hadith of uh, Sahih Trump. What do you say, my friend? Okay, but where 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 does it say it's uh, uh, Sahih? Okay, let me show it to you. It says here, Sahih. Yes. Okay, here we go in the screen in red. It says Sahih Trump. This is confirmed. So now what we would do? What what is Sahih Trump? It's a book. It's called Sahih Trump. Is it a book called Sahih Trump? Yeah, this is a Muslim Sunni Sahih Trump. You never heard of it? No, I never heard of this. I never heard of it too. I just somebody told me this is the name of the book. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm like you. I really inspire me. My well, friend, this is. You my, my, so you are saying to me now, Sahih Trump is not accepted by you? You have to know the the most authentic hadith book, which a Muslim accept is Sahih Bukhari. Why you don't pick up anything from Sahih Bukhari? So, so you are saying to me, Sahih Trump. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm nervous talking to you. Sahih Trump is not listen, authentic. Listen, it's listen. not authentic. You are saying to, saying to me now. Are you sure it's not authentic? Shh, shh, I'm talking. Mm. Put put something mm. like this from Sahih Bukhari. Okay, only Sahih Bukhari is uh, is accepted yes. by you. Yes. Yes. What about Sahih? Uh, no, 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 no. What about? Obama. I said to you the most authentic Sahih Hadith book. Mm. For Muslim is Sahih Bukhari. You cannot. You Only cannot Sahih Muslim. Muslim. Uh, what about what's about Sahih Muslim? You heard of Sahih Muslim? I say to you, Sahih Bukhari. Only you Sahih Bukhari. Sahih okay. Bukhari. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I will go yes. to Sahih Bukhari. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me find yes, Sahih Bukhari. That is the most authentic hadith from the, Cor correct. From the Muslim. Correct. Okay, okay. All the Muslim know this. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm. So, what do you think okay. about this hadith then? Do you see my screen? Okay, which book is this? Is this from Sahih Bukhari? Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? What do you don't know? Is it from Sahih Bukhari or not? Yeah. What do you think? What does it say? It says that Can any man, any Muslim man and a Muslim girl, they want to have fun and have sex in the elevator. They can agree to certain terms and have been being born together. And there is no problem, and they can extend if they wish. This is a Bukhari. What do you say? If a man and woman agree, mm. their marriage should last for three nights, and if they like to continue, they can do so. Mm. And if they want to separate, they can do so. Mm. I don't. I do not know whether what was only for us or for all the people in general. Mm. Abu Abdul Al Bukhari said, Ali made it clear that the Prophet said, The Mutta marriage has been cancelled. Hmm. Yes. So, your Prophet, he allowed Muslim women and men to have sex party time? Did he allow it? Is that real? You said to me, you said to me, you like Sahir Bukhari. This is Sahir Bukhari. Yes. What kind of religion, the Prophet of this religion, allowed a woman to rent herself for a man to stay with her for three days, three nights? It says after you you didn't read at the last Ali made it clear that the Prophet said the Mutta marriage has been cancelled. Hmm. And cancelled by what? Yes. Why why he cancelled? Was he did he find that he was wrong? Maybe he was nervous when he said that. Why he said in the beginning you can a Muslim woman, a Muslim man, they can go to bed and have bomb bim boom boom, you know, bim, listen, boom, boom. listen, I have I have Sahih Al Bukhari in front of me. The book is in my hand. Which okay. which 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 is it? Wh where I can find this? Uh, this one you can find it in hadith number five one one nine. The book of what? The book of witnesses, the book of uh, uh, Zakat, I think the book I, of what? The book of sex, the book of nikah. Okay, wait. Hmm. <coughs> I notice you are nervous, my friend. Are you nervous? No. Or because I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I don't know because I you told me that you are uh, from your your father is a parrot too. 
Yes, my father is Karat. Uh. Yes. Hmm. And which 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 uh, number you say? Uh, Sahih al Bukhari. Uh, hmm? Should I read the number for you from the left or from the right? Sahih. A number. Should I read the number for you from the left or from the right? From the right side. Which how you start right, from where? From, from the right, right, okay. From the right. Nine one one five. Nine one one five. Hmm. And uh, from the left? Five one one nine. Five one one oh. nine. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I was drinking because I'm nervous. I was. <coughs> Allah Special said, "If a man or woman agrees, they should pass for three nights, and if they like to continue, they can do so. If they want to separate, they can do so." I do not know whether that was only for us, for all the people in general. Abu Abdullah Bukhari said, "Ali made it clear that the Prophet said that." Mutta marriage has been chance made unlawful. So yes, okay. Guess what? Yes. Are you it's serious? Okay. What, what what is wrong with this? Are you serious? So you your 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 Muslim sister she can go and find the Abdul in the street or in the elevator, and he said to her, "I want to sleep with you for three days, three nights," and this is not adultery, is not. Who say you can go and meet someone in the elevator? It says here we marriage, go. Marriage, marriage, marriage. What marriage? Three days, three nights. This is marriage? Three days, three nights. This is marriage, huh? If yeah. you marry, you know what the word marry what means? Is, what is the word marry? Where it says word marry? You do, you, do you see, do you see the word marry there? Do you see the word Do you see the word marry there? You have witnesses that confirm that you are his husband and he is your <laughs> and she is your wife. What kind and of that, husband? What if, kind of if husband? If you want to last for okay. three nights, it's okay. If you want to last... After you can separate. So what's the problem? Okay, so, uh, so can we do it for one hour? You can do it as long as okay. you have nikah. So, so you are saying to me we can do nikah for one hour and this is marriage? Yes. This is not adultery. This is not witness, sex business. Okay. If you have witness, if you don't uh -huh. do it by adultery, and if you don't go and... So, uh, and you have to pay the woman money, right? You have to pay her, you have to pay her money, correct? Hmm? You have to pay the money to the women because she take off her panty, correct? No, why you why you have to pay her money? Eh? Don't lie to me. Your dad is watching. Mm -hmm. This is muta. Muta is you have to pay them money. What is muta? This is muta. You don't know what muta mean? But what does muta mean? Muta mean like you want to play games or etc. You know. Okay. Okay. So you spend money. You put in the machine. The machine have a hole in the side. You put coins and you do muta. In this case, uh -huh. the whole the hole is the women, Muslim women. You put in her hole, you put etc. money, and then you you play. Okay. Okay. So this is muta. <clears throat> this is game. You play game. So here the game is sex. You go to the hole, you put some money. She take off her panty, and you play as much you pay. Correct. Okay. Okay. So here we go. This is what. This is this is this is crazy. This is not, what kind of God he allow you to do so. So what, what what is the problem? I, what do you mean with the problem? Understand. So the a Muslim is, woman now. Nikah, so so you are saying to me a Muslim woman, a Muslim woman, she is the same as a coffee machine. We put some coins in her hole, and then she opened the machine for us, and we play. And then when we are done, okay, you have to pay more. So what is the dignity of Islam? What is where, why you Muslim lie to us? Says Islam teach us dignity, and women are preserved, and women are protected. When the woman is nothing but a whore for sex, you pay her to take off her panty. Does it not say in the last part it was chances made unlawful? Did you not read it? So you are you saying to me your prophet he changed his mind later he found himself like he get busted? I'm saying that is what the text is saying. I know why he did that. Why in the beginning he allowed it and then he forbid it? Is that because people they start talking about him? That obviously he's a perverted man and he's a bad man. No. So why he's allowed in such a thing? This is adultery. This is not marriage. Where is marriage? You just you just said to me. Everybody heard you. You pay the woman some money. She open her legs. You do bang bang bang, bing bong bing bong bing bong, and then when your money is up, your time is up, and she have to close her legs. 
What kind of religion this religion is? You have you have nikah. It's not wrong if you have nikah. What is wrong? You would have marriage. What is nikah? Nikah mean uh, f word. The word nikah mean the f word. Nikah does not mean marriage. Uh, what? Well, you are you are, you are you are a joke. You know. Okay. What if I show you that this what nikah mean? What you would do? Okay. Show me what the word nikah means. <coughs> okay. If I show you what marriage. the word nikah mean, what you would do? It means marriage. Are you sure? 100%. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go and show you from your Islamic website what nikah mean. Be my okay. witness. Okay. What nikah mean? Let us see what nikah mean. Nikah, hmm. nikah, uh, nikah. Okay. Do you see my screen, my friend? Yes, I see. Okay, let us see. This is your Muslim website. Okay. And let us see. Do you see what it says? Nikah literally means sexual intercourse. Do you see it? Nikah literally means sexual intercourse. Yeah, not marriage. Yes. Okay, but in, in which context I, I tell you doesn't matter doesn't matter doesn't matter This is your Islamic website. Okay, okay this is not my Western website and islam.org and islam.org read with me Okay, so uh -huh. this is what nikah mean nikah does not in Arabic the word the word marriage mean uh, Bambino I think Okay, and how do you, do how you, do you speak Arabic? Marriage? Do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? No, what the word what the word the marriage in Arabic? Yes, how you say marriage in Ara in, in, in Arabic? I know, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm guessing you. I thought you would help me because you are the Muslim. How you pray to Allah in Arabic? No, you do I'm, not know I'm, Arabic. I'm a pirate. I'm a pirate. Okay, I told you I'm a pirate too. Yes, we okay. have. Uh, My computer, the one I'm using right now, I get it from a ship. And so I was in the front of Somalia and we jump in the ship. And yes, you know, yes. Yeah. I, so also, now, I take two boats today. Yeah, yeah, and your prophet was a pirate too, right? Everyone, everybody, we but all you, are pirates. But your prophet was a pirate too, was he? We all are pirates. Yeah, he attacked caravan, exactly. Yeah. So now, yes, we are all show me. On the, okay, on here the we go. Image. I showed you from your Islamic website that the word nikah yes, mean, we're gonna mean, establish, mean, we're gonna mean establish sexual the kingdom of God here. So we must be pi pirates to the evil one. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yes. Why they are evil one? A ship having goods going to do business. Why? Why they are evil? Listen, what they are doing? Listen, listen. Hmm. Don't, don't, don't try to escape. What hmm. is the word for marriage in Arabic? I don't know. You tell me. You are Arabic speaker. Ah, I'm Arabic speaker. How do you know I'm Arabic speaker? Yes. You say you are Arabic speaker. Why you lie? Uh, I, I, I was talking. Uh, I, I never heard that. I, I thought you would not hear me. Did I say that? Yes, you say. Well, I take it back then. I don't know really okay, Arabic. But, yeah. but okay, you, you have no, you have no, no, uh, no idea what the word marriage means in no, Arabic. No, uh, and as I see the your, the word your prophet he used is nikah, and nikah means to do. So, so, so the word, boom. so the word marriage does not exist in Arabic. No, there is. Uh, I think there's every language have word marriage, but it's not nikah. Okay, but what is it? It's not nikah. Uh, you not know, nikah? Netflix, I think. Are, are Netflix, sure? Netflix. Is are you sure? Uh, I need to call a friend. Well, you don't tell me you are the Muslim what the word marriage mean Marriage mean nikah. Why, why are you like no, I just showed you this is your Muslim website This is your Muslim website saying nikah literally means sexual intercourse. Do you see it? Let me read for you my friend. You see nikah Literally means sexual intercourse. Do you see it? I'm not making things up. This is your Muslim website Yes, but the word for marriage yeah, this is what the nikah means. So, what is the word marriage yes. in the story? Your yes, prophet, or your prophet, he said, "No, how is going to be marriage if this is this is literally?" So, imagine when you say to a Muslim woman, "I want to do nikah to you," you are saying, "I want to f you." <laughs> how stupid this cult is! This is crazy, my friend. Do you do you really allow somebody to come and ask for your sister and say, "I want to do nikah to your sister"? Is that okay for you? The word nikah means marriage, okay? So why here they are saying nikah literally means sexual intermarriage? You, 
you have you have you have uh, you have no idea the word marriage you have no idea what the word for arabic is um, I, I, you, see, you keep asking me the same question and i give up i told you i, I don't know now you tell me i don't answer i don't know madri uh, madri in arabic you know i saw why? because I, the word for marriage is nikah ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay guy. let me let me do a little search in the quran is that okay is that okay do you agree listen 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 let me ask you you're a christian yeah mm. you don't believe in prophet muhammad as a as a uh, messenger of god my friend muhammad for sure is a messenger of god what are you talking about no no otherwise no, no. how otherwise how he can have sex with 13 wives in 15 minutes okay 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 oh. okay mm. listen yeah listen listen mm. How many how many wives did did Solomon have and David according to your Bible? Mm, I don't know a lot. Why you know? a lot? You don't know a lot a okay. lot of women. Yeah, okay a lot David had four wives, okay four wives, okay? Yes, but did God he yes, says to him have to four wives? Bible. No, he have and, a lot more. And, no, and he, Solo no, Solomon, he have more he have more. Okay, let me ask you Solomon the, had over 700 wives. Okay? okay, okay, he have more. He have more, no, more so, than 700. So no. you, you don't Solomon, Solomon, a, he told me no. Solomon, God. he told me even he have more than 700. But the question is, is it's that over thousand? Maybe you see, maybe yeah, maybe 10,000. We don't know, but who cares? Yes. Because it's if, if, who cares? Yeah, because who God, cares? because God, you, 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 did, because God did not reject them as messengers of God. I don't accept him to be anything. He is just a man like everybody who do commit sin. He's a sinner. Solomon. Yeah, so what? Solomon and David, they and are David. sinners. I don't accept him to be and holy men. The, the Bible does not consider and them David. holy men. They are sinners. They are sinners. They are sinner. they are sinners. The Bible make it clear. And the, uh, can you show and me ever can you show me where the Bible says that God told Solomon or David to go and have many women? Can you show me the verse? Listen, listen. And David. David and you David too. So what? David is a sinner man. So, not so, only that, even so, the so even the see, Bible, my friend, my friend, my friend. A friend, even the Bible says that David was a crying for God. David come from a sinner. Abdul, huh? Abdul, yes, he is a sinner, big time sinner. He was asking God, crying for God to forgive his sin. Don't you know that? In the Bible, in the same Bible, it says that. So, okay. we, so when so you, you say mean, to me, Abdul, 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 mean, Abdul, listen, Abdul, listen, Abdul, when you listen, say to listen. me, David, when you so say you to mean, me, David, you, you mean, agree. You mean mm. that Jesus come from a father who is a sinner? According no. To your Bible, who, is, David who, who is the who is the father of Jesus? Who Jesus is, is from his seed. No, he is not from the seed of anyone. He is not the seed of anyone. No, because there's Jesus, Jesus, his mother, she was a virgin in the Bible in the Quran. Yes, but what your Bible say? It says he's from the seed. No, this of is David. by birth. This is by birth. By birth, he's from Mary, but he is not from David. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me, you, you have not you read your Bible so. No, so I, I read my I read my Bible very well. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Okay. Let, let me read. I have your Bible here. Mm. Do you have a Bible there? Hey, Abdul, I have a Bible there. Do you have a Bible there? Okay, good, good, Abdullah. What's your name, Abdul? Uh, 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 I forgot. I'm nervous. Hmm. <laughs> you don't know your own Bible. Do I have to search for for it? Uh, okay, you teach me. I'm waiting for you. No, you don't know. No, I learn from you. Okay. <clears throat> open, open Matthew chapter one. Hmm. Open. You read for us. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, 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 no. I want to. No, no, no. I don't know. You know. You know better. You know better. No, no, no. You know better. Abdul, Abdul, and Abdul. I know where it says that. Abdul, don't be stupid. Listen, Abdul. Let me let me shut you off. Let me let me shut you off. Let me shut you off. Let I am I am the man. You are not. I am the man. You are not. You Muslims are not sons of men. No, no, no. I can prove it to you from your prophet, Abdul. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Jesus said, "You said which, you said Luke, right? You said the Matthew." No, 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 no. Put it, put it on your screen. Yeah, you said you said Matthew, so the right? Can see. Do you did you Matthew say Matthew? Oh, hold on, did you say Matthew? 
Matthew chapter 1. Read okay. the first, first, first words. Okay. Let me ask you, do you accept Matthew chapter 1? What do, what do you mean? Would you do you accept, accept it or you don't accept it? Do you accept Matthew chapter 1? What do you mean with accept? With what? Is it good for you? Is it, does it prove a point for you? Is that with, is, is this book is good for you? Listen, listen, just read chapter mm. 1 and the first first word. What mm. does it say? The first mm. words. Yeah, okay. It says here. Okay, here we go. This is the chapter you are talking quoting for me. It says Mary who was born from Jesus who is a Christ called the Christ. So you are saying to me Jesus is the son of David, correct? What what are you what are you speaking about? This now? is this is the chapter you are saying uh, asking me to quote from. Why are you not putting it on YouTube? I want to I have it in YouTube. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. No, no, no. I want the audience to see it too. Why you don't put it? People they see it too. People they see it. It's in the screen. It's in the screen. It's in the screen. No, it's not on the screen. It is in the screen. People they can see it. Refresh your page. Okay, wait, wait. You have it. Okay, 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 okay. My, my, my bad. My bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Read chapter one. The first meaning. What, what does it say? Read. You read for us. Go ahead. Matthew, Matthew chapter one. Hmm. Read for us. Go ahead. No, no. You read first. Come on. Do uh, you tell us? Okay. I, I, I got you. The, the. You want to say to me that in the, in, the Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible, my friend. Uh, in the Bible, my friend. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. In the Bible, my friend. You are saying to me that the Bible says. That Jesus is born of Mary and Mary she is born from David, correct? Correct? Oh no, 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 no. That is not what the Bible says. That is what you say. No, this is what the Bible says in the front of you. Here we go. This is the verse you are quoting for me. You asked me to go and read Matthew chapter one. Yes. Okay, here yes. we go. Okay. Chapter one, the first, okay. The, first, the genealogy first of Jesus the Christ, the son of David. Do you see it? Ah, uh, what is it? What does okay. it say? But this is by birth, but Jesus is the son of no one. This is by birth, okay. by, by birth, good, but by birth, by correct, birth, by birth. Correct, correct, but okay. not according to your Bible. No, according, according to my Bible, Bible, here we go. Let me, okay, 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 okay. And David was a sinner. No, my friend, here we go. Read carefully, read, read carefully, read carefully. This is Matthew chapter 22. As long as you like Matthew, I will answer you from Matthew. Jesus Christ, he asked the, the, the Jews, he said to them, what do you say of the Messiah? They said he's son of David. Read carefully with me. But, the, but as the Pharisees were assembled, Yeshua asked them and he said to them what are you saying about the Messiah who is son is he they were saying to him the son of David the same as it says there in Matthew number one this is by birth yes. the son of David he said okay. to them hold on and how the how did David by the spirit call him the Lord Jehovah for he said the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord sit in my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet if therefore David called him the Lord Jehovah, how he how is he his son? Do you see who's talking here? Jesus saying that he is a son of David by birth, yes, by the flesh, but he is not from David, he is not even from anyone, he is not even from Mary. He is the Son of God, the Word of God who became a man. And Jesus here he answer you. So by birth, by birth, Jesus he is from David because Mary is the daughter of etc daughter of blah 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 etc and that will go all the way to David but the reality is Jesus is son of nobody this is why Jesus have no father now we got you busted I want to ask you according to Quran why Jesus have no father you know you know, you know what uh, you know what you are doing now what I'm doing now you are contradic con contradiction. Oh my God! You are contradicting yourself. How, my friend? Why? How, brother? Tell me how. Brother, mm. you are saying he's not coming from anyone. Yeah. But your book is say he is the son of David. No, he's a son of Mary. My book says too. My book says too. He's a son of Mary. But in fact, he's but in fact, my friend, this is by birth. But reality is that the Christ is exist before Mary is exist. Isn't it Jesus says yes, before Abraham? Me, I, hold on. Isn't it, is it Jesus says? Is it, okay, hold on, hold on. You, Here, David, David. Also, okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Also, okay, hold on, Abdul. Oh. Potato. Hold on. David. He yes. is. He is exists before Jesus or after Jesus. Who? David is exists before Jesus or before after Jesus. 
before Jesus. Okay, so how did how David call him call him call him Jesus God? <laughs> how David call him Jesus God? Yeah, the, the verse in the front of you. You Muslim, you say to us, show me one verse where Jesus says, I am God worship me. Here we go. Jesus saying to them, how you call the Messiah, the son of David, if David himself called him Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah. Mm -hmm. So here the, Jesus confirmed that he is the Lord of David. He is the God of David and he is not the son of David. And the verse in chapter in Matthew chapter one confirm that Jesus is born of Mary, but yet by birth, he is from David. But the truth, but the truth is he is not the son of nobody. This is why That's he called himself. This is why he called himself. This is no. This is not contradiction. This is contradiction for you because you are you are a funny person. To you, to you, Abdul, Abdul. Let you, me ask you. In the Quran, is Jesus son of anybody? Yes, he's son of Mary. Who is? Oh no, he is not son of Mary. Yes, he's son he is of born, Mary. He is born of Mary, but who is the one who was the reason for Jesus to exist? Is it Mary? No. Okay. How Jesus came to existence? There is no 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 father in his in his life. So see here we go guys He he have no father how you say to me that the Bible says that Jesus have a father and he is David but And yet you Quran. Saying, no, 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 here we go Jesus explain no Jesus explain him to them. No, Abdul, Abdul if I am born of a woman and my woman my, my mother She's from the tribe of Quraysh. Okay. I am the son of Quraysh, but this is by birth But reality for Jesus is different for he is yes born from Mary and she is from the tribe of etc from the Jews But that does not mean Jesus belong to any for he is exist before Mr. all of them I, I only show you that your book is corrupt My friend your, your the book if of we, Allah is corrupt. We, we the Muslims hmm. we Muslims We can never say that Jesus has a father. He have no in, male intervention in, in his life No one why 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 he don't have but a you, father, but your book He's saying he's the son of David. What is wrong with you? Okay, here we go. See, you are being a uh, silly now, being stupid. You want to play stupid? We can play stupid with you. If my, no, if my, the same, the same book, the stupid. same book you are quoting for me is saying that he is not the son of David, for he is have no father. Isn't it the same book you are quoting from me? Is saying that Jesus have no father. What what did you say? The same book you are quoting from me. It says Jesus have no father. You, which book? Abdul, I, I don't in, like in, stupid in, talk. In just, 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 just get, just, Jesus just, just get lost. Just, you know, you are wasting my time. The Bible is so clear that Jesus have no father by birth. I explained to you, and you are a donkey. You don't want to listen. It's up to you. By birth, he is son of David, but reality he is not. He is the God of David, and Jesus, the one, he's explained that to us. So by birth, yes, he is son of David. By birth. But Christ is exist before David is exist. And David is worshiping him before his birth. Jesus said, Before Abraham, I am. Before Abraham, not only David. What what even David? Who, who is David? David is no one. You see, for the Jews, anyone want to be proud to be the son of David. Anyone. Hello? Hello. Uh, hello. Yes. Uh, hey, uh, CP. Yes, ma'am. So I, uh, no, uh, I saw you mention that um, Islamic scholars like uh, Al Razi, you know, etc., mm. etc., uh, were not uh, Muslim, right? Well, you know, Al Razi, he. Uh... He spent a good time of his life as a as a Muslim defending Islam, but then, I, uh, according to many research, that obviously at the end of his life he decided to leave Islam. <clears throat> okay, yes, but uh, I looked this up, and all uh, I mean, most websites uh, say that uh, he's been Muslim, or he's, he has he has been. Uh, uh, there were a few of his work. There were a few works of from him that. Uh, were not cons were considered anti uh, uh, Islamic, but he was. They they pretty much say that he was Muslim. I can't find anything. Okay, that but says how he how he was anti Islamic and he is a Muslim at the same time. But some of his works were not uh, according. Were not. Uh, were not. Uh, did, yeah. Did not so you see what the Muslims they do. They take they take a Razi when he was a Muslim. They refuse a Razi when he is not. As simple as that. Like, like let us say, uh, 
uh, somebody was defending Islam for the last 20 years like we have a guy in YouTube is not his name he used to call himself convert to Islam so yeah, convert yeah. to Islam he was defending Islam saying convert to Islam convert to Islam Islam is a true religion then convert to Islam he left Islam so what the what 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 part of of this guy the the Muslim they will take they will they will take only the part where he was defending Islam you know what I mean otherwise yeah. a Razi is very well known that he is a person who, uh, and there and there is tons of uh, of uh, uh, of uh, you know attack uh, against Arazi by Muslims. The uh, you know like I can I can uh, uh, you know we can I can see. Let me see if I can find you something. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, look at this. This is a fatwa website. They are saying that a Razi, when he died, he came back and he repent. <laughs> you know, yeah. so is he is he a person who repent or not? So you know, uh, obviously he was not really a Muslim, but he was a Muslim for a certain time of his life, and then he start going more and more. You know, staying away from Islam, and the Muslim because his name became so popular. Uh, denying him will be a problem for them, so they decide to say, "Oh, he repented to Islam." But is the, what is the proof that he repented and he came back a Muslim again? What yeah, is what is yeah. the you know? Even he made a book. According to them, he made a book about magic and about uh, speaking to to the stars. So he's not only he is out of Islam. You know, he uh, he come with his own let us say his own stories. You know. Yes, it says here, وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ فِيهِ عَنْ أَبِي مَعْشَرْ أَنَّهُ عَبَدَ الْقَمَرْ وَأَنَّ فِي عِبَادَتِهِ وَمُنَاجَتِهِ مِنْ الْأَسْرَارِ وَالْفَوَائِدِ مَا ذَكَرْ So it says here that Ar-Razi, he worshipped the moon. And he says by worshipping the moon and doing prayer to the moon, he can receive many secrets and many benefits. All right? Mm. And it says, uh, uh, you know, they are talking about him and what he did. So, uh, uh, you know the Muslim themselves, and this is an Islamic website. This is an official website. This is not, uh, you know, this is Islam Sual wa Jawab, and this is Fatwa number two two five eight four nine. But let me tell you what the Muslims they do. Somebody became very famous, and let us say some Western university they spoke about him, because they spoke about him. Suddenly he became very important. We have to keep him to be a Muslim. You know what I mean? Yes. When yes. I was in school. The teacher, he said, you know, I was a kid, you know, the teacher, he was teaching us about a scientist. His name is Al Khawarizmi. And I said to him, sir, what Khawarizmi mean? But this is this, this is in the book of history, a section for Arab scientists, which means everybody in this section have to be an Arab, and he he's a scientist. So I said, well, Khawarizmi mean? I, I was thinking what this word mean. So he said to me, Khawarizmi mean is a, the person who is, is born of the city of Khawarizm. And I said, where is the city of Khawarizm? He said, from Iran. So I said, so he's Iranian. Why he is here in this section? He said, yeah, uh, Al-Razi was uh, Iranian. Uh, all Iranian. of them, all of them, they are, they, they, there's no Arab, you know, Al-Jabratu as an example. They say to you, Al-Jabratu was a Muslim, the one who found Al-Jabratu. Al-Jabratu was a Yazidi. He is not a Muslim. He is not a Christian. He is not even an Arab. They yeah. are They are Yazidi, you know. So they make anyone, anyone, uh, 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 what his name, the guy who used to do uh, uh, diving in the ocean, uh, Captain Costo. After he died, in few years, the Muslim they say he converted to Islam before he died. <laughs> uh, just wait, a few years from now, they will say, uh, "Stop!" Uh, what his name is, uh, Steve Job. Uh, he was a Muslim. Uh, they, uh, a few years from now, Christian Prince, he will die, and they will say Christian Prince, before he died, he repent to Allah, and he became a Muslim. Just wait. Yeah. Mm. All all the, the, the names they are proud about, they are considered not to be Muslims. In their time, they chase them, they want to kill them, even some of them they killed. Some of them they torture. Even Ibn Khaldun was jailed and tortured. So... They speak about them today because simply we need to make Islam look like it is a place where science grow. When the fact, those who they call them scientists, they've been discriminated and killed and considered to be kuffar. Yes, yes.
Anything else, my friend? Um, if, if, if you have time, uh, I'd like to ask you about uh, John 14, 28, if, if you have time. What about it? Yes, yeah, so it's uh, <coughs> interesting, you know, because uh, it's to do with the Trinity, right? So obviously you believe in the Trinity and everything, right? Yeah. And here, John, yeah, John 14, 28, it states, uh, Jesus is saying, uh, you heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I am. Mm. So when I read this, I think uh, Jesus was <laughs> humble enough to to admit that there was someone greater than him. So I was wondering, what what can you say to uh, prove your prove the Trinity in this case? What do you know? For uh, uh, the answer is very simple. Uh, that Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God correct this is what the Christians believe so because of that visible image the father is a greater than I am so th this is why he says God he humbled himself and he came in the image of a man God is not a man he came in the image of a man so the the the, the, the God he took the form of a man humbling himself to be in the image of God so because of that my father is a greater than me but at the same time jesus said that i am the uh, the alpha i am the omega i am the beginning i am the end i am the first i am the last you know in the book of revelation so uh, uh all the bible confirm that this is not about jesus not equal but this is about being the son of man he is not equal to the father. My father is greater than me. But in the same time, the one who saw me, he saw the father. Uh, I am in, in my father and my father and me. When they said to him, why you don't show us the father? And that's it. He said, I am with you all this time and you did not recognize me. The one yes. who saw me, he saw the father. So simply uh, uh, because he humbled himself to come in the image of a man, he is not. Uh, my father is greater than me. As simple as that. You know, you see, yes. God, because of his glory, we can't see him, correct? This is what the Christianity teach, even Judaism. So Moses could not see him because of his glory. But in order to see him, he had to humble himself and come in the image of a man. So now we see a humble image of God, but yet we don't see God in the way he is. We see a humble image of God. Otherwise, nobody can see God and live. Yes, yeah, uh, right. I see. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, uh, if, a, uh, if somebody want to wanna take uh, the meaning different way, let us say someone here is not a Christian, but who care? Because at the end of the day, my faith is what my belief, not what you think. Like now, the, the guy who was talking to me, he was saying to me, the Bible says that Jesus, son of David, one verse saying that, and uh, I showed him the verse, Jesus saying that he is not the son of David. So is that a contradiction? No, by birth, he is son of David, but reality, he is a son of no one. David, yeah. he exists before David is exist. So how he can be his son? And here, as you see the conversation, it is Christ himself who is doing this uh, little debate. The Jews believe that Christ is a son of David, but that is true by birth. It's not a contradiction. Jesus is born of Mary, but he is not from Mary. And he is exists before Mary is exist and before David is exist and before Abraham exists. Uh, so you know, for us as a Christians, when we when we speak to uh, uh, to someone he is not a Christian, the easiest way to deal with him, uh, because they try to play games to make it simple for him. If you want to talk about something you believe, this is different. If you are asking me about my belief, this is my belief. So. If he says to you how Jesus is not is saying my father greater than me The answer is very simple for this what we believe if you want to give us different explanation. This is his belief then it's not Christianity He's free to do so mm, yes. You know what I mean the same as Jehovah's Witnesses they can come they, they use exa sometimes exactly the same Sentences exist in the Bible, but they have different interpretation So giving a wrong interpretation will make you have a different belief as simple as that even if you follow the same words if a Muslim right now take a verse from the Bible, let's say uh, Muhammad, he says, I believe in the Bible, but he have interpretation the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. Still, Muhammad is a, is a false man. 
even though if you believe in the same exact written words in front of us yes yes yeah and christianity is not an opinion of one person christianity is established through centuries and centuries and we have our fathers you know thanks god they wrote books tons of books you know the funny the muslim they say to you in the first the three centuries of christianity not a single christian speak about the trinity well, jesus is speaking about the trinity here we go in front of you <laughs> you know well how how, how how many lord we have you know how, how that will work how how the messiah is lord and and the, the father is lord and how the first verse in the bible in the book of genesis is speaking about the spirit of god so we have the spirit of god we have god coming as a man to abraham we have god coming as a as a as a, as a man to us and jesus says before abraham i am and abraham he saw my day so the trinity is confirmed in every statement everywhere in the old testament in the new testament everywhere and if a muslim want to say he want to lie says nowhere the trinity show up in the first 300 years that will be a stupid thing to say because uh, uh and they say to us uh, by the way they say that Constantine he is the one who changed the Bible and he changed the format of Christianity but there's areas where Constantine have no power as an example what about areas you know uh, controlled by the Persian what about area in India there's an ancient church in India established by Apostle Thomas how Constantine can force Christians in India to worship the Trinity they have no power there they were a smaller church have nothing to do with anyone same time we have the church in ethiopia we have the church in africa the church is spread all over it's not only in the in the places where the romans exist so it's impossible for anyone to make everybody unite in one belief unless this is the belief and the other belief is still there exist you know until now there is people believe uh in in their, in their own uh, uh belief in christianity no problem but Christianity, the one we know it, the one we belong to it is this one. God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. All okay. Right? Okay. Yes. Anything else? Uh, uh, yes, 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 actually. So, uh, <coughs> what are the origins of uh, the devil in uh, in Christianity? Was he was he an angel? Mm -hmm. Angel. Yeah, was a he? fallen angel. Yes. Yeah, see, because I was wondering, you know, uh, Muslims believe angels cannot disobey God, right? In any uh, any way, you know, because they are made uh, to serve God, no matter what, right? No, you so, see, you see, the Muslims so don't believe. This, no. How did angel begin to? Uh, uh, I don't know exactly how the story goes. How did the angel begin to envy God or become like want to become like God? Because isn't angel supposed to be um, complete servant of God? No, you see, servant, it's you, you see, we believe in the free will. This is why we, we are totally different between Islam and Christianity, that in Islam there's no free will. Everybody is made, pre-made, to pre-decided by Allah, and the angel, he have to be what Allah decides for him. In Christianity, no. So even though you are an angel or you are a human, the difference between the angel and the human, they have different nature, different nature, that's all. Otherwise, the angel, he have a freedom, to obey or disobey the angel he had the, the human he have a freedom to obey or disobey that's why god he said to adam this is a tree don't eat from it so he put him there you know he did not decide for him to eat he said don't eat from there that's all so you have everything but don't eat from there and this is symbolic for how a person he obey disobey god the same as the angel the angel he been supposedly to serve god as you said but still he can be a rebellion and he can go and say i don't want you know? uh, so angels uh, have free will everybody have a free will otherwise how what is the point of uh, uh, of uh, punishment and reward you know what I mean okay but then uh, what will be the reason behind the creation of the angels well like God you, God, you see the, the Bible says that he created the Sun to raise over the evil and the good ones so the evil are created in, like if you want to say in in uh, in, uh, in a a philosophic uh, uh, or philosophy standard well god he created evil at the end of the day because he created the devil but he did not create him to be a devil he created him to be an angel so he decided to be a devil 
so it's not the purpose the purpose is that everybody you know he created us to to be with him to enjoy his glory and then we disobey as simple as that it's like you know you you get married and you have a son and your son uh, he became a drug dealer but did you is that is that what you you wanted for him to be no but because you have a free will he's not programmed like an insect you know to be he is programmed not to be controlled by anyone which means he can be something good or he can be something bad so you get married to have a children but it's not your target to have a child who will be a drug dealer correct yes. your target is to have a good family okay so God he did not made us to be his family to be evil but we chose to be to be evil to be sinners Mm, yes yes the same as when he put uh, Adam in the in the uh, in the garden did he want Adam to commit sin no even you, you might say okay he knew that uh, Adam would commit sin but it still is not fair to judge a person for he have no freedom to do or not to do so imagine I you know I get, I take I take a freedom from you and then I say you are a good person you don't do commit sin but this is not because he's good because you have no freedom Mm. Like mm. imagine now you have a house controlled by Taliban, all right? Yes. And everybody pray five times a day, okay? But let Taliban go out of the house for five minutes, and let us see what will what will happen inside the house. You know what I mean? So yes. Taliban they have their own way, forcing themselves by violence. But them the, the Taliban themselves they are corrupt too. A member of Taliban when he's alone he don't do what he is what what, what he do when he is with his friends. So you go to Saudi Arabia during Ramadan, you see all the Muslims who they are Taliban with the grow, growing beard. They are with the hookers. Uh, uh, they go drink uh, black label, etc. Yeah, they go back to Saudi Arabia. They are holy men. So this is the truth. The truth is that uh, 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 God He gave us a free will, and we choose whatever we want. The fly go to the garbage. The bees they go to the flowers. Very simple rule. So God He He the, there's garbage. There's the flowers. Where do you want to go? Go. You go where you belong. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. All right, my friend. Thank you for calling. Anything else? Are we done? Uh, 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 oh, yes. Actually, I wanted to ask one last thing. One last thing. The <laughs> I can't remember where uh, where in the Old Testament uh, it is, but I'm sure you know the <laughs> the, the story in which. Uh, you know, some children were insulting this bold man. Yeah, we made a video yeah, about it. You bears, can go. Two bears came yeah, and, uh, yeah we, we made a video about it. it. You know, uh, simply the story here. Uh, this is uh, in Second King, I think, uh, about the children who insulted the prophet of God, and then a beast he came and he killed them. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what about it? Yeah. So, what? Uh, what it doesn't. It seem. You know, I'm cruel. It's just uh, no, nothing is cruel, my friend. You know, God He gave life. God, God He take it. So you see, the the same Bible you are talking about, and this you believe in it or you don't believe in it. The Bible says, if you insult your parents, you will get killed. If you insult your parents, not the prophet of God. Judgment. So if if someone if somebody if, insults if, if someone his parents, insults their parents, they are worth judgment. Bank, judgment is death in the Old Testament. Yes. So this is this is what the Old Testament. If you don't want to respect your parents, don't deserve to to live. So if a beast eat them, that will not change the fact that they are bad and they commit something extremely bad. They knew it is forbidden. They knew that this is extremely uh, uh, bad, and yet they still going after the man, making fun of him for a stupid reason. So those youth, they got the judgment of God for committing such a crime. You might say, okay, well this is a cruel, as you said, they are children. Well. We pay for our our sin at the end of the day. God, He gave you life, but doesn't mean you go and abuse others with it. Okay, and does this did the did God's the did it, that does it just apply in the Old Testament? Then, sorry, did the trying what I'm trying to say is does uh, does it did it just apply to the Old Testament? So but, what if okay. what if someone insults their parents now? Or do do they deserve death? No, well, you know, you see, the, uh, first of all, when we say you just respect your parents, you have to be a person who is responsible. The same as the story in the Bible, which means those are 
uh, maybe they are young but they are not children you know they are not kids really uh, the same as me if I am insulting my parents I am a man and insult my parents then I will be uh, under the judgment because the, because this is not right your family your mother your, your your father they brought you to life and then you insult them now Christianity we don't have the Jew the Jews they have a law which is to rule to govern not only a holy book in Christianity we don't have a law we have a book of God to believe and to follow by faith but we don't have a government so Judaism it was a government and a belief in the same time Christianity is not this is why Jesus said to them give to what to Caesar to Caesar and what to God to God so if those if I insult God or I insult the Holy Spirit the Bible says I will never be forgiven even me doesn't matter you insult the Holy Spirit there's no forgiveness it doesn't matter what you do so you do disrespect your parents then you deserve judgment if you don't like it John don't, don't join this faith leave it if you think this is extreme I believe this is right because why in the world a parents they bring a child a mother she carry him carry him in her womb for nine months she suffered to give birth to him she spent her day and her night next to this baby until he grew and became a man and then this man he said to his mother the F word do he deserve judgment I agree he deserve this is very evil even you know like even 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 uh, even a dog you feed him he don't bite his own yes yes but there's different factors for uh, that take place you know because uh, first of all the child does is not doesn't really understand but, uh, who, who, said, who said who said they are, they, who said they, if, are, they are not a child a they very, are not a, they are not a children they are not a children who said they are a child what child you know they are young men young youth let us say maybe they are 17 maybe they are 18 maybe we don't know exact the age but they are not really children so uh, uh they 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 insulted the prophet and they knew he's a prophet when they knew that they should not even insult their own parents so if you want to say okay they don't deserve such a judgment well god don't, don't you believe in the flood of noah sorry do you believe in the flood of noah uh not not sure no not really okay the flood of noah simply god he said the flood he destroyed everybody okay here we go now we have uh, when we say everybody it's mean even there is children yes, yes okay so here we go god he gave life god he, he take it same time if you are a child and you die still you go to heaven in Christianity but if you are a person who commits sin you don't go as simple as that your sin so will forbid if, you if, uh, if for example if I insult the the Holy Spirit I would never be able to go to heaven no you will not this is what the Bible teach so there is no chance for repent uh, uh, as as I as I, as, as I know from the Bible, no. You you insult the Holy Spirit, no. You cannot repent. As I know, maybe isn't, maybe somebody that, know the Bible you know, better than me. You know, huh? Isn't that a bit? Uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't make much sense because why? You see, it, it does not make sense. Let me let me tell you, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. My friend, my friend. If I am God, if I am God, if I am God, I will not forgive you for insulting me, saying to me the effort. It does not make sense to forgive you. Actually, it's not the opposite. It does not make sense to forgive you, because if we talk about sins, do you deserve forgiveness just because I repent? So imagine I go and rape a woman and I say to her, "Okay, I forgive me, I repent." Well, you you rape her already. You kill the man. You rape a uh, rape a woman. You stole, you did, etc. You insult, you insult God, the one who made you. And now, now because he don't want to forgive you, it doesn't make sense. It's the opposite. But because God, he is over what makes sense, he forgive you still. So he tell you, okay, do, you know, there's things I cannot, I will not forgive you for it. You accept my conditions or not. Don't go, go, go and insult the Holy Spirit. No problem. It's your choice. Doesn't make sense okay, to you. But but someone who uh, someone who grew up as Muslim, it's, it's not. First of all, it's not. We can say I mean, no, no. Muslim, we can, we can say first of so all why? to insult the Holy Spirit. You have to know who, what is the Holy Spirit. If you do not know, this is a different story. You know what I mean? So 
if you do not know what is the Holy Spirit and what is not Holy Spirit, then this is a different story. I am ignorant, so God will not judge me by my ignorance. Even if you don't hear about Jesus, you see, the Bible says, if a person he reject Jesus, he will not go to heaven. What if a person he never heard of Jesus? He might go to heaven because God will judge him by what he know. So God will judge you by what you know. So if you know that this is the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is forbidden for you to curse or to insult, and you insult, then you will not be forgiven. You get my point? Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if it is clear for you that this is something you should never do, and you know about it, and then you do it, that means you are fully uh, 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 capable of making decision, and you choose your decision based on your knowledge, which is knowing that this is wrong to do. And you choose to challenge God. Okay, go for it. But if a person who do not know, this is a different story. Okay. Yeah. That's it? Uh, yeah, yes, that's about it. All right, yeah. my friend. Thank you for calling. Take care. All right, bye. Uh, <coughs> you know, imagine like you have you have a a, a, a fire a worker. He come to your house. He said, "I want to save you." He said, "I want to either want you to save me," and you insult him. Okay, and then he leave you in the fire. Good for you. Uh, yes, Abdul. How are you? Mute YouTube. Abdul. Fire worker. He come to your house. Abdul, mute YouTube. What do you want to say to us? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, you're talking about uh, showing respect to your parents, yeah? Mm. Okay, okay. Then I want to ask you what your what your God, according to to uh, John chapter two, when he go to the mar marriage uh, feast of Cana, you know this? Mm. Yes, when they were were out of wine. Mm. Yes, what happened? Do you know? Because he is the Lord of Mary, my friend. I was telling to you, explaining to you, that Jesus, he spoke to Mary. He said, what what I have to do with you, women? Because simply, he is the yes. Lord of this woman. He is not. Oh. See, he is talking to her because he is her Lord. He is her God. So yeah. he is born of this woman, but still she is under his command. He is the Lord. So you asking me where Jesus says I am God, worship me. Here we go. In every no, act, no, he I have not said okay, he did not call her. He didn't even call her mother. He called her woman. No. Correct? Is this is this a role model for for you who say woman to his? Because mother? he's God. Because he's God. Because he is God. He is the God of this yes. woman. You see, this is again proving to you that Jesus is God. Otherwise, why he is not calling her mother? Yes, mother. As you wish, mother. As you order me, mother. No, he is ordering the women. So you, you are telling me that this is the role mother who called his own mother for woman. Is he no, not coming? This is, for this, is be, role this is because who should because how, how this is because this is because who is Jesus is. This is Jesus he is, not me. I cannot call my mother the same as Jesus he said, but because Why? Jesus he is if, if because I am not the God of Mary. I'm not the God of Mary. I am then I will be the son of a woman. Her name is Mary, or her name is Josephine, or her name, whatever. So he is her God. And this is why you see Mary. Do you ask yourself there why Mary she is asking him to make the water wine? What kind of no. what kind of request that request what? is? Can you tell me? What? Why why, why, why Mary? Why Mary is asking Jesus to do such a thing? She is not asking him to bring some water. She is not asking him to make a phone call. She is asking him to make something nobody can do. People they have no wine. Can you Make the water wine for them. This is what he did. So did you ask yourself? So this did, is did you ask? Your did you ask woman. yourself? Did you ask yourself why Mary she was asking Jesus to do such an amazing act? How she knew that he can do it? She was talking to him as a son or as a god. Is this is this the role model? See, you like repeat yourself. You are, you are like a recording yes, machine. You will not sure. answer. You are a coward, like your prophet. I'm asking you. When Mary, you are the one who quote for me the verse. When Mary, she asked him to make the water wine. She was talking to Jesus as a son or as God. See, he's talking like a man. What like a man? Can a man make the water wine? What? Can a man? Have you ever heard of a mother asking her son to make the water wine? 
if he's a prophet he can by the permission of God. okay show me how your prophet can do anything here we go you're a prophet he prayed to Allah to forgive his mother in the grave and your God Allah he forgave is that correct listen 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 is that correct your God Allah your God Allah your God Allah he are you're a prophet he asked Allah to forgive your your prophet hold on you see here we go the mother of your father if you're a prophet she will go to hell is that correct or no Yes, she will go. Okay. There. Yes. And you're a prophet. He asked Allah to forgive her. Allah, he, re he refused. Yes or no? Yes. She okay. Is not. So you're a prophet. He cannot do anything, including forgiving even his mother for his sin. But it is God. It is God who decide who goes. No. Who goes well, no. What? What? What, you, what kind of God this God is? Okay. You are the one who said to me. You are the one who said to me. Is that a role? A role for you? So are you saying to me that it's okay for me to say my God is in hellfire? It's respect. Isn't it your father, your prophet? He said, "My father in hellfire too." His mother. It's not. It's not in my hands. My, you understand? No it's problem. Did, did your prophet said, "My father and your father in hellfire"? Yes or no? What do you say? <clears throat> I'm asking you. Did your your prophet says, "My father and your father in hellfire"? His father and his mother is in hellfire. Yes. Yeah. Why he, is that? Is that a is that a share of respect or this is an insult? His father. What? Abdullah mm. and his mother are in Nar. Yes. Why? Why they will? Why they will go in the fire? Explain to us. Why? Mm. I have no idea. But he know they are in is the that hellfire because they are mushrikeen. Is that correct? They are infidels. I don't know. I don't know. I cannot uh -huh. say something. I don't know. No, this is the only reason. The, uh, his father, his name is Abdullah, which means he is a slave of Allah. So why he would go to hell, hellfire? Explain to me. Because because your name is slave of Allah. That doesn't mean you you believe in that. Oh, so his name is uh, Abdullah, but he he believe in the devil. So, you, so if you say all Abdullah who is named Abdullah or okay, or, you're a prophet. Or, you're a prophet. Hold on, you're a prophet. He is no, coming from a family. Listen, logic, listen, listen, have... listen. You're a prophet. He said that the infidels are najis. Is that correct? What? The kuffar. They are najis. What is najis? Filthy, dirty. Yes. Okay. And his parents are Najis. Yes, according to okay. this. Okay. Yes. So you are saying to me, is that a role for somebody to call his parents Jesus? He called his mother women, and this is an insult for you. Muhammad saying his mother is dirty, filthy, yet this is not an insult. Yes, but they were. So are you saying to me, it's okay for you as a Muslim to say my mother is Najis? But he say when you speak with your mother, speak kindly. The, the no, your mother, if she is a Muslim, your mother, if she is a Muslim, if she is not a Muslim, you say to her, you are najis. Here we go, the verse in the front of you, and you are the one who agree. Muhammad himself, he called his mother najis, and you agreed. So najis is a name given by Muhammad to his mother and to his father, which means they are filthy dogs. So how are you asking me, and why you are wondering why Jesus is just by saying the word women to his mother? That is disrespect. When your father, your prophet, he says his mother, she is filthy like a dog. But they are, they are in hellfire. No problem. <laughs> no in hellfire or dog, so what? <laughs> My friend, so if God, he said to me, man, is he insulting me or this is who I am? What? If God, he said to me, speaking to me, he said, man, is that an insult or this is who I am? No, this is what you are. Okay, so God, He said to marry women. She is a woman. She is not a cat. She is not an elephant. She is not a wall. He called her woman. This is who she is. He is speaking as God, and she is a woman. Now so here he we go. Know, now let, now, the, now he listen, he listen, he he listen. He he why you are why you are avoiding to answer? You agreed that Jesus He can make from the water he wine. Did, why you are a prophet? Why you are a prophet? Listen. You said to me that prophet he can do miracle. Can you show me any miracle your prophet did? He have split the moon. Where? What a where? We have only one moon. What it's a big where? fat lie. Nowhere in the Quran it says Muhammad split anything. Not even a zucchini. Not in the Quran. No. Where? Where? Yeah. In the Hadith. Show me the Hadith. It says that Muhammad split the moon. I challenge you. Yes. Okay. Show me. I'm. I'm waiting for you. Because if the hadith saying Muhammad he split the moon, that means the Quran is a big fat lie. Let us see. Hmm. 
searching Prophet Gogol. It's in the front of me in the Quran. Read it. Read it and laugh. Chapter of the Moon, verse number 54. The hour has come and split is the moon. Hmm. Is that a true or this is a false prophecy? What 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 do you what do you mean with this? Well, that's a proof that Muhammad is a false man because he said the hour, the hour has come and the moon is split, but the hour did not come. <laughs> the moon is splitting no. supposedly is the is the hour the judgment day has come. This is what it's mean. Uh -huh. So how he said the judgment day did come and the moon is split, but nothing happened. We are fourteen hundred years after, and yet the hour did not come yet. The hour has has come and split and split is the moon. Okay, but the hour did the hour come? When we say the hour, it means the judgment day. So did the judgment day come? No. Okay, so your prophet is a false prophet. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, what? And, the, and, you, oh, and you, as when you see, oh, hold on, hold on. Your prophet is not even saying that my God, he spread the moon. He's not even saying I spread the moon. He's all what he's saying. The moon is split and the hour come. That's all. So he saw an eclipse. This is how stupid he is. He saw the eclipse. He thought this is judgment day. He said, okay, here we go. The hour is split and the, and the judgment day uh, uh, has come. But this is a false prophecy. The hour never come and we are 1400 years after and the moon is there and nothing split. Okay, but tell me why you are, why you are changing the subject. I'm not changing. It's you who said to me that huh? uh, your prophet he have a problem. Uh, no, I'm telling you, uh, you did it, didn't the the God know the 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 Hebrew language for mother in in Hebrew? Do do you speak Hebrew, my friend? I I speak do, Urdu. Do I speak, speak Urdu. Hebrew? Do you speak Urdu? Okay, you speak you speak Hebrew? No, I don't speak Hebrew. Do but, you speak Urdu? What is the word for mother? In it Hebrew doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He did not call her mother. This is the important. He called her woman. I answer you. So stop being a fool. Okay. So he called her a woman before she is a woman. She is not a man. Okay. If somebody called me man, I am a man. I, this is not an insult. Same time, uh -huh. Jesus is the Lord of Mary, and this is an additional proof that Jesus is God. So you keep saying to us. Where Jesus says I am God worship me and we show you verse after verse even the verse you are quoting for me Proving that Mary herself she believed that the Messiah is her God So she is asking him for him asking him to do something. Nobody can do this is not a request for a son This is a request to God So when you want something to happen you ask for a miracle from God You don't ask normal stuff and this is what Mary she's asking for she's asking her God the Messiah Can you do something for them, please? And the Messiah, he said, my time did not come yet, but yet he did what she asked for because he loved her. But his time did not come yet. This is not what he is there for. It's not time to do a miracle, such a miracle, but because she is someone dear to him, he did what she, and you will see there, she said, do what he will order you. She told the servants to do what he will order you. She was sure why, why, that he will why, answer, why, 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 he will answer why, her request. Why, why is she there to him? Why? Because she because he's born of her. She is his mother by birth. Ah, now he's she's her mother. Good one. Ah, good one. Let me ask you. Let us let us live together. Why Mary? Why Mary? She don't have a husband, my friend. Ah, listen, listen, don't change subject. I'm not okay? changing subject. I'm not changing subject. This is the subject. This is the subject. Mary, why Mary? She is the mother of Jesus without a father. We have a secret here. What is behind the secret for you as a Muslim? Why in the Quran, brother? Why in the Quran it says that Mary she have no husband? What the purpose of this, brother? Listen, if this is if this is what you mean that he is God, is he God because he have no father? No. What do you mean? But what, what, we need to what know. You want to, no, you want this to is one. Of, that, this that is one. No this is one of the reasons to make us understand the birth of Jesus. Why Jesus is born, but yet he have no father? Explain to us. Okay, we know that he have no father. But no, no, no. It's not I about we know or not. That's not the question. I'm asking you. Why? Why he do not have a father? Everybody have a father. Adam, he is not born, so it's normal not to have a father. After Adam, everybody is born. He have a father. So why okay. Jesus have no father? Okay, I I am asking you how, why. Don't ask me. You tell me. You as a Muslim, no, I, why no, your Quran? You why? why the yellow why? pages of Muhammad? Why the yellow pages of Muhammad you saying that? Jesus? No, 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 no. I don't want you to learn now. I want to get you busted first. Why in no, your no. book? Why in your book Jesus have no father? Explain to us. What What did you say? Why in your book Jesus have no father? 
Why? Because he was born mirac miraculously without any male intervention. Why? 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 Hmm. What is this? Why? What is the purpose of this miracle? Nobody can witness this miracle. My mother, she can claim that she gave birth to me, and there's no man he know her. Huh? Anyone can. Anyone can I, claim I, such I, a thing. I, I will. I will answer you. You want to answer? You want me to answer this? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Listen. Open your. Open your heart. So maybe you will. Inshallah, understand. Open what? In in this in this time, uh -huh. the Jews uh -huh. they insinuated that uh -huh. the mother of Jesus was was with another mother, okay, uh, with, with a man. Abdul, was... don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. This is not a question. I'm not asking you what no, the no, Jews no, they think. I'm, I'm, First of no, all, I'm, Abdul, no, shut up, you donkey! Don't call me again. I have no time for donkeys. What a stupid donkey you are! Stupid story in the Quran. The Jews accuse Mary that she is a whore. How they can accuse her to be a whore if she is literally married legally? Don't call me again, don't care. I have no time for kids. Let a scholar call me. When the Quran says, Oh, sister of Aaron, how you commit such a thing? This is a stupid story because Mary, she was never accused by the Jews of anything. Because if she was, they will kill her. Same time, are you saying to me that your God he made Mary have a son without a father so people will insult Mary and they will say she is a whore? <laughs> this is the purpose? How oh, stupid you are. And when you quote for me the verse about the moon spread, this is one of the most funny verses proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. How he say the judgment day is near or come, yet the judgment day never come. How he claimed to be a prophet of God, yet he makes such a stupid mistake. This is cannot be from God, my friend. Look at this and love. How this is can be. The hour has come and nothing happened and the moon split and it's proven that there's nothing it's called moon split because if the moon split for a second like what happened the moon split and Allah put it together again he changed his mind if the moon splitting is is a sign of judgment day why Allah put it together again what happened maybe Allah he turned the switch off or uh, on by mistake Huh? What happened? Okay, the moon is split. What happened? Why the moon is not split now? The hour has come, my friend. 1400 years ago. 1400 years ago, the hour has come. I mean, what do we need more to prove that Muhammad is a false prophet more than this? A guy, he said, the hour has come 1400 years ago and nothing happened. And yet you still believe that he's a prophet? You have to be mentally ill. If you remember, guys, there is a bunch of, uh, you know, false, like uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. They made an attempt to calculate when the judgment day will come, correct? And already they did that many times. Proving to us that they are false. Do I need really to prove to myself that they are liars? Here we go. They said to me, it's going to be in February 19, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then the day came and nothing. And the poor Jehovah's Witnesses, they sold their houses. They sold they sold their cars. They emptied their bank account because that's it. Judgment Day is coming. Why? Because they follow, follow a stupid cult. And then the judgment, they come and nothing happened. And this is Muhammad. Muhammad was asking Muslims to give him a loan because judgment day is coming. Soon, very soon. Muhammad, not only that, he tried, he did, he did many attempts 
to scare the Christians to make them believe he told them if you don't believe in me I am going to erase the details of your face and then people they notice that Muhammad is a is a scam okay here we go you 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 swear if I don't believe now you are going to erase the details of my face you will make my nose upside down you will make my nose go inside my head my eyes will go I will, I will look like a blind man I have no actually not no eyes at all and no eyebrows all of this because we don't believe in Muhammad okay believe in me before I do this to you okay no they do not believe what happened did Allah keep his promise believe in me hello why are you calling okay can you explain to me this verse you, can you explain to me this verse in the front of you on the screen chapter 4 verse listen, number 47 listen listen, listen one second one second mm, mm. about this moon splitting mm. okay i didn't have time before we were talking about another subject but you change the subject but i'm telling you here is the moon splitting here mm. in front of me in sunnah mm. dot com mm. in tirmidhi mm. you can read the hadith there. it says from ibn Omar khattab he said mm. Anhu, he said the moon split during the time of the messenger of Allah mm. sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the, the messenger of Allah said bear witness mm. and this is sahih so what does that mean what what does that mean the, the moon is split in the time of Muhammad did, 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 does yes. it say that Muhammad split the moon listen it says that okay let, hold on hold on let me show you let me show you how, how silly the Muslims are I'm not insulting you I'm just showing you how silly you are let us say the moon split yesterday and then somebody says the moon is split while the Christian Prince was talking in YouTube or while the Christian Prince is with us Does that mean I am the split the one who split the moon You were splitting the moon by God's promise where it says there show me you just so told me that the moon is split during the time of Muhammad It doesn't say he is the one who split the moon Yes, but it was he they were where where show me show me what says that you, you the are the one who called the hate for me Allah's messenger to show the miracle and he showed him oh, what, what, yeah. is the, what is the miracle? What is the miracle? Yeah, the, how the what he did? Moon. Did he say hey moon split and the moon split? Did he say that? What did he say hey moon? I wanted to split right now and the moon split What do he moon? I want to split my uh, the moon my he, friend I'm asking was, you what he did what he did he when, you say, Allah, when you say when you say when you say when you say that he split the moon where it says Perform this miracle like Jesus Abdul Abdul let, let me show you the hadith you show me so everybody can laugh at you and the miracle you claim here we go okay. this is the hadith I will put it in the screen everybody will laugh okay. at you in a second hold on you are the one yes. who brought this to yourself and this is a garbage here we go where in here it says how, how that Muhammad I? hold on where it says that Muhammad he split the moon or what it says that the moon was split into two parts during the lifetime of Muhammad that's it listen listen search I give you a reference. I, I, I'm showing stupid. the reference. This is the book you gave ah, me. Sahih al Bukhari 3637, mm. book 61, mm. hadith 141. And this Volume. is the hadith. Here we go in front of you. Read it. It says clearly what I'm saying. Muhammad did not split the moon. It says that the moon is split during the lifetime of Muhammad, two parts. That's not all. It. Not that. Hello, hello, hello. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Listen, I give you a reference. Mm. Wrote this down. Mm. Sahih al Bukhari 3637, book 61, <laughs> Hadith 141, volume 4, mm. book 56, <coughs> Hadith 831. Mm. Okay, right. read it. Read it for us. You read it. Here we go. Read it in front of me. I have all Sahih al Bukhari hadith about the moon. All of them are the same. This is book number 61. This hadith number 140. This is 3636. And no, it no. says that the moon split two parts during the lifetime of Muhammad. Hey, don't, don't lie like this. Come on, brother. You have. I am not your brother. You are a pagan, a black stone kisser. Now show me. Okay, read the hadith for me so we can laugh. Okay, I. why you don't put it? I don't, I don't, I don't see any. Here we go. This 3637. 3637. Okay, hold on. 36. Let me see yes, if I can find 61. it. Hadith one for one. Hadith what? Hadith what? What? Hadith one for one. Hadith one for one. Let us go back here. I think Hadith this was fifty six. <coughs> Hadith eight three one. Okay, this is one forty. So the next hadith will be one forty one. Hold on. 
Okay. It's narrated, narrated by Anas. Okay. This is 140. So let us see 141. We will search for 141. Hold on. You see, when I search for it, it's not coming. Hold on. Let's, let's do this. It's not coming. It says sorry. Okay, the I, not... I send you. I send you the link to your Skype, and you can open it oh, there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> and show all the people. All right. That the Meccan people requested Allah Messenger to show him, show them a miracle, and so he showed them the splitting of the sun, of the moon. <laughs> what do you mean he showed them? <laughs> huh? What, what, does, what does that mean? They asked him, they asked him to show a miracle, and he showed them the miracle of the splitting of the moon. Ah, uh, so suddenly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what, what the people of Mecca they ask him for a miracle, right? Yes. Okay, and the mirror and the and the moon is split in his time life. So he claimed that this is him who split it. Split it. <laughs> it happened when they requested him. They, they are always that. requesting a miracle from the first day in his life. They ask him, "If you are a prophet, show us a sign." What are you talking about? Do you want to show you the Quran? Are you, from the are first. You, are you blind? Are you blind? Uh, my friend, you, where you, here? Where you, here? It okay. says where here? It says that Muhammad he split the moon. Show me the. Here we go. The eight in front of us. Did you say? You you don't speak English, my friend. They he said, and he showed them the splitting of the moon. But the moon is split every year. This is the eclipse. What have you have you seen the moon split? No, this is eclipse. Muhammad is a stupid. He do not know the difference between eclipse and splitting. What what do you say, eclipse? Eclipse, which means the moon line up with the sun between the earth between the, the when when the moon come between the sun and the earth, we the earth go in darkness. So okay. that 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 make people many people in old days legion they believe that this god is angry why because why the day and the night became in the same time how in the middle of the day became a dark so you're a prophet this is why you're a prophet he used to pray a lot when this has happened because he got scared he think it's judgment day let me show you from the hadith okay but what is your proof hold on here we go i will show you the proof i will show you the proof here we go the prophet he said we were ordered to free a slave at the time of the lunar eclipse. So when the moon is split, Muhammad he's saying that the God is going to judge us. So we have he's he's angry. So free free a slave, free a slave. So we can we can let God not to punish us right now. Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me why you have to free a slave when there is an eclipse. I tell you what you are saying. It's a true lie. With do you know why? Abdul, why, why, why you need to free a slave if there is an eclipse? Why we don't free it in normal day? Why in the eclipse we have to free a slave? Explain to me. Why your prophet is worried? What happened? Eclipse is happening. Why Muhammad is worried? Huh? Listen, listen. You said why? Don't, don't change the topic. Why I have to free a slave okay, if it is an eclipse? Why I need to free a slave? What exactly the problem? Listen, is that listen, is listen, that an Islamic? Me, is that an Islam? Is, is that show Allah? Me one hadith which says the hadith you show me it doesn't say Muhammad he split the moon. He said he showed them the split of the moon. I can show you too that the eclipse is there. You say to me show me a miracle. He said okay eclipse is coming. That's not me doing it. Even the Quran okay. says, so even the Quran says, Abdul, even, even, your, even your stupid Quran says the judgment day, Abdul, even your Quran does not say that Allah split the moon. Read the verse with me. The Quran says that the moon, the judgment day is near and the moon is split. Does not even claim that Allah did that. Yes or no? What? The Quran, does your Quran claim that Allah is the one who split the moon? <laughs> Everything is happening by the will of Allah. Yes. No, show me where it says that. Show me. Yeah. I have to show you. You. The you verse in the front of you. The verse the says. Quran the verse says you. Allah is talking. Supposed to. He says the hour. The hour has come, and that the moon is split. <laughs> he did not even say, "I am the one who split the moon." Listen, 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 listen. You, you requested a hadith. I give you this hadith. The hadith you gave me it shows nothing. The hadith you gave me, no. The hadith you gave me it shows nothing. People are asking for miracles. 
and Muhammad showed him the splitting of the moon. He said, Okay, do you see split the moon? This is my miracle. What is the proof? Did he say, Hold on? Did Muhammad he say, Hey moon, I want to split right now, and then the moon split? Listen, he he just showed them the miracle because they requested, like the my friend Jesus, he said to the dead man, Rise from the grave. Okay, did Muhammad say to the moon split and the moon split? Uh huh. Did Muhammad say to the moon? Did Muhammad order the moon to split and the moon split immediately when he said that? I cannot answer that. I okay, then shut up. So if it happened during his but time, can you answer? Was it, was I, it my was answer it is very simple. You see, you are you giving me a headache. You stupid! Don't unbelievable. I don't have patience no more. You donkey! Eclipse happened. Muhammad he claimed that his God he split the moon. This is eclipse. There is no moon split. Show me the moon which is split. Are you stupid or what? If the moon is split, why is one piece now? <laughs> why are you are calling me again? Okay, let me ask you. Is the moon split? 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 Yes or no? Listen, why are you? Is the moon now split? Yes or no? Why are you a so big coward? You are the coward. Is the moon now split or no? Is the moon now split? Yes or no? You have no proof. You why you get angry? Why because you are angry? stupid, you are donkey. Is the moon split? Listen. Is the moon split? We are debating if the moon if he split the moon or not, but but in fact there's no moon split. The moon Listen, is one why piece. Are you, why are you do we have you do we have now two moons or one moon? You cannot prove. Why, why do we have one moon or two moon? Everybody. Answer Abdul, let everybody off at you. Here we go. Do we have two moon or one moon? Listen, listen. You I'm not listening, you, you need to answer me. Do we have two moon or one moon? Listen. I am listen. not. You have to answer me. Listen, Don't I'm make me about, hang I'm up on you. Listen. You are losing my patience. Do we have two moon or one? Listen. <laughs> Do we listen. have two moon or one? You said you said that Jesus, Jesus. Get lost. You see, the second you, you put him in the corner, you say Jesus. Get lost, son of a donkey. What does Jesus have to do with this? Do we have two more now? If we want to split, we should have two more. As simple as that. <laughs>